situation. Finn, Roxxon, Underground, it's just a lot, you know? You're 17, you're stressed, and you're a superhero. You gotta cut yourself some slack. You still making beats? Not much since I started this. Work-life balance, kid. Most important thing. Here. Little project your dad and I started back in the day. Our mixtape. Had rhymes ready and everything. <laughs> How come I never heard about this? Because we never finished. We sampled street noise around the way. Wanted the city to be our beat. But your dad had the masters. And after things went bad between us... <sighs> but you could finish what we could. Plus, it'll take your mind off work. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what do I do? Load that up. I'll walk you through it. I'll set up holograms to guide you. Scan the source. Holograms, huh? You still in my moves? <laughs> this was in my playbook before you were even born, young blood. Okay, don't think about Finn. Focus on sounds. Clear my head. Scan the holograms and it'll unlock files on that drive I gave you. Hope you figure out which sound you're looking for. Now try and find the original sound and grab a clean sample. Try moving in a little closer. sound, but it's muffled. Try and get a clear line of sight. Now try and find the original sound and grab a clean sample. Not a match though. Keep looking. That's it. Rest of the sounds you need are spread across the city. I left a few messages for you, too, to help you get a feel for each location. Oh, dope. Hmm. Not now. Hey! Get something you like? <laughs> yeah, really unique dynamics. See? Old man still knows his stuff. <laughs> and you were right about clearing my head, too. I know what to do about Finn. I gotta see her. Try to talk her out of all this. In person? Where? 
Trinity Church tomorrow night. Why so interested? Because you got a target on your back the size of Jersey. You don't have to protect me. Someone should. You know, you said you never finished this tape because of how things went bad between you and Dad. What actually happened between you two? It was complicated. We were too similar and too different. <sighs> Finish the tape, get all the samples, and you'll hear the whole story. Promise. All right. Thanks, Unc. <laughs> Trinity Church, remember. Tinker is yours, but leave the boy alone. Man, I needed that. I was beat. Okay, I'm gonna call Finn. talk in person so you can lie to me again so i can make this right please meet me at trinity church no more lies i promise if you're screwing with me <sighs> fine I'll... hey miles uh, remember when i said i knew someone who's looking into the underground she's on the line hi uh spider-man i'm I'm planning a podcast series on the underground, and your, uh, your tech guy said you needed help with them. Oh, wow. Um, I'm a big fan. <clears throat> I'm actually at one of their hideouts right now. Any advice? Jammers, I can alert the police and get them shut down. I'm on it. Thanks for the help, Danica.
how things go. Not good. When Devil's Breath hit, enough of the underground got sick that they were hiding. And Martin Lee going to jail and the demons. Yeah, the underground took over the demons' territory kind of by default. Not very dramatic. He's gonna throw it! Now to find the jammer, I should be able to track the wires with my suit. Wire runouts, probably a good place to start. Demon stuff, need to shut down the jammer. Hey, hideout's back on the grid. That's my cue to leave. Hey, I'm back, Finn. Can you meet me at Trinity Church? I need to make things right between us. If you're screwing with me... <sighs> Fine. I'll see you there. At least she's going to meet. Okay, Trinity Church, let's go. Oh, oh sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh. on a mission. Oh, Another hideout. Ooh, awesome. I just reorganized my notes from a podcast series and I am ready to dig in. Go find that jammer.
All that's left is to find the jammer and shut it down. Wire runouts are a good place to start. There's a pulley over those crates. That's a bingo. Wow. It's a Magia trophy room. Green's a little off on these bills. Guess the Magia never nailed down their counterfeiting operation. Thought you could hide, huh? Guess I can head out. Crap! Hey, uh, the way out's blocked. Should I call someone? Like, like backup? I'll figure it out. That old elevator could be my ticket out of here. Just need some juice. Okay, now to wire that to the elevator. 
Man, I'm good. Their cunning trap has failed. Hey, consider the jammer jammed. Perfect. Now I'm just gonna give the police an anonymous tip. And boom! No more hideouts. Appreciate the help. Did you get what you needed? Yep. I'm gonna dig some more into this turf war between the underground and the Magia. Smells like a story. Sounds good. I'm looking forward to hearing the podcast. Hey, I've been checking on all the hideouts we've shut down. Recruiting's tanked, and those blocks have gotten way safer. That's great. Thanks for calling them in. I wouldn't have found the jammers without you. So, I was looking through my files. It seems like the Tinkerer was working on some big secret project in Hell's Kitchen. Is it new form related? No, it looks like... programmable matter? I've faced that stuff before. Maybe I should take it off her hands. Oh, hey, there's a code referenced here. 2658. Maybe try that if you find something, you know, blocked? 2658. Got it. Thanks again, Danica, for doing your podcast. Those tips at the end of your episodes have been life-changing. Oh, well, well, I'm glad. Thanks. When my Underground series is out, let me know what you think. Sounds good to me. Talk to you later. on zero spider-man i lost count esu hallowed halls my alma mater have i ever told you what happened when i started school here step up to the prompt and live the story for yourself oh, this is gonna be fun Structure. 
on super clean combat design. Hey, pod listeners. This episode is part of my series, Underground Exposed. Spider-Man recently took down an underground hideout in Greenwich, and we found evidence that the underground went to war against the Magia. Yes, that Magia, the old school crime family. Back then, there was no tinkerer, and the underground considered themselves a new class of criminal. The young mafia, if you will. They wanted respect, so they went after the crime families. The conflict sputtered out when Hammerhead staged the full-on takeover of the Magia, which indirectly saved the underground. Thanks for that, Hammerhead, you jerk. Till next time, if you're trying to change your habits, limit yourself to one change per month so you can stick to it. Goodbye. <laughs> Hey, pod listeners. This episode is part of my series, Underground Exposed. Spider-Man recently took down an underground hideout in Greenwich, and we found evidence that the underground went to war against the Magia. Yes, that one. The old school crime family. Back then, there was no tinkerer, and the underground considered themselves a new class of criminal. The young mafia, if you will. They wanted respect, so they went after the crime families. The conflict sputtered out when Hammerhead staged the full-on takeover of the Magia, which indirectly saved the underground. Thanks for that, Hammerhead, you jerk. Till next time, if you're trying to change your habits, limit yourself to one change per month so you can stick to it. Goodbye. <laughs> Two, six, five, eight, right? Programmable matter. I can make this into anything. Oh, I'm digging this. Think that'll do it. I gotta thank Danica for the tip. Dad and I fell asleep listening to this sound every night when we were kids. It's got a good beat. Okay. Something rhythmic that was around when Dad and Uncle Aaron were little.
dad and I grew up not far from here, before we moved to Brooklyn in high school. Hearing the clatter of the wheels, the squealing when the trains turn or stop, always makes me think of me and your dad's late night talks. Mostly about what we wanted to be when we grew up. I wanted to be a space alien. Dad's dream changed. Doctor, firefighter, social worker. But he always wanted to help people. Yeah, sounds like Dad. My boyfriend is not gonna believe this. Hey, Dana fans, you're tuning into my four part series, Underground Exposed. While Spider Man was shutting down the Underground's hideout in the Upper East Side, I found evidence of their days partnering with Tombstone Gangs. Yep, you heard that right. They worked together off and on until an Underground killed one of Tombstone's people. Hugh Violent Hugh. The underground were horribly, hopelessly outgunned. Then Tombstone was hauled off to prison, and not long after, the Tinkerer became their new leader and supplier. You can find more details on my blog. Till next time, try to tackle your hardest work between 2 and 3 p.m. Seriously, you're at peak attention span then. Bye! Your mom lived here right after college. You know that? She and your dad were dating. Three of us spent a lot of time here. We got used to this soft, steady beat. Soft beat. Subtle, but a good beat. Things were good back then. Felt like they'd be good forever. Your mom got her first gig as a teacher. Your dad was new to being a cop, and I just started calling myself the problem. I figured we all kept secrets about our jobs. Couldn't last that. Your dad's job and mine crossed paths too often. Man, Uncle Aaron, if you would have been anything else, my mom and dad would have supported you all the way. This one was all your dad's idea. You need something that's always in this park. Quiet on their own. Loud in a group. Loud in a group? Uh... Hmm. This was way back, before high school. We were hanging in the park one day, and someone dropped a hot dog. You know how that goes. The place was swarming with pigeons. Dad stopped cold. He said, Aaron, man, that's music. Listen. The next day, we were crawling all over Manhattan looking for this. Like you are now. I remember the first time they showed me how to sample. Uncle Aaron had the gear, and Dad had the gear for music.
Hey, friends, this is part of my series, Underground Exposed. I'm looking into who the Underground are and what they want with the help of Spider-Man. I had to pinch myself when I said that. Okay, so, the Underground used to have a major grudge against the inner demons, and not for the reasons everyone else did. This was before the Tinkerer took over and way before anyone knew who the Underground were. They wanted respect, that street cred, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. So they went after the biggest, baddest jerks in town, the inner demons. At least till Martin Lee, the demon's leader, went to prison. Then the underground needed a new target. Enter the tinkerer who pointed them at Roxa. Till next time, make sure to get at least 15 minutes of sunshine per day. Bye! This is a good one. Me and your dad used to hang around here. Listen while the whole station came alive. That's what you need. Something at the station. Has to be the fire alarm. Gotta get close. Hanging around here is how your dad got the idea to be a cop. I said, man, you're not uptight enough for that job. He wanted to make things better from the inside. Pretty sure he died trying. He did make things better, Dad. And so will I. Times Square. Easy to find someone in the crowd here. Or loose. Sounds you need like an electric current. A current? Could cheat it with venom? <laughs> nah. Or a sign? how alive that feels. After I started calling myself a problem, met my first client right under this sign. Neon flag's hard to miss, and the crowd makes it easy to blend in. She wanted me to steal a painting. I looked across the square and saw your dad looking back at me. He never said anything, just turned and left. He didn't know everything, just that I was a thief. That was enough. I think he saw where we were headed long before I did. If he would have tried to act right sooner, he would have forgiven you. I know he would have. Later, Spidey number two. Bet I can sell this. All right, that's enough. This sound always feels like someone celebrating, even when it's just telling time. Your dad thought so too, so we had to include it. A sound that tells time. Okay. Does both. That's it. Ringing on the hour. When I hear those bells, I remember the last time I was here. Your dad had just graduated from the police academy. I didn't go to the ceremony, so I met him here after. 
bought us milkshakes. Strawberry for him, peanut butter for me. Don't know why I remember that. He said he couldn't cover for me anymore if I got in trouble. I told him I was done with that life. I was lying, but he believed me for a while. Or at least pretended to. Man, things got complicated between them. Hey, kid, keep your chin up. I'm with Danica. The bridge was... Listen up! I finally have scientific proof that Spider-Man is a crime against nature! Allow me to explain. A recent incident involving a construction crane and a tiny bit of ice turned into a spider snafu when the masked menace decided to intervene. The result? A disaster the likes of which this city has never seen! We have yet to receive a body count, but I assure you, it will be... What's that? <clears throat> I'm being told no lives were lost, thank heavens, but the number of injured is likely significant. We're still awaiting word from local hospitals on just how many... Seriously? Uh, I'm now being told there were no injured. However, this doesn't change the fact that this tragedy could have been avoided if Spider-Man had just let nature take its course. Jared, get me new fact checkers. I know they're your roommates. Get me new ones. Get rid of the one with the beanie. This plaza and the blocks around it are alive with sound. What you're looking for is light, distinct. Light, huh? OK. Not this way. Something distinctive. Man was bad enough. Not gonna find it over here. Sounds good. This plaza is where I had my first job. I was fresh out of high school then. Didn't have the gear or the mask. Guy paid me to mug his boss. Rough him up, take everything in his wallet. Your dad found out. He stood under those wind chimes yelling at me for an hour. But he never told our folks. He made me promise I'd stop stealing. Wish I kept my word. Deserve better. I wish you had too. Maybe you and Dad would have stayed close. I can't imagine ever turning my back on my family. fun with this one. I had a repeat client I always met here. Got real used to waiting. Listen, 
hearing this sound running on a tight schedule. A sound on a schedule? Oh, dope. Ferry horns. That's right. The client I met here used to take the ferry over from Jersey. Working for him was good money. Until he got busted. He's how your dad found out about the problem. Not that it was me, but that a thief was making it big in New York. And your dad volunteered for the case. I could feel him closing in. I had to try and guess which would be worse. I told him. But he caught me. That'd be me. I... I don't know what I'd do. That can't be the only reason Dad cut him off. Not if he fessed up. It just wasn't Dad. Hey, young blood. You got almost everything you need for the track. You just unlocked the spot where you could find the last piece. Hope it works for you. Spot in Harlem. I wonder what the last piece is. I hate to bother you, but rocks are knocking down the whole neighborhood. Uh, Spider-Man, I was thinking, and it's totally cool to say no. How would you feel about coming on my show? Uh, I mean, I don't really do publicity. Secret identity, that whole thing. Right, totally. No pressure. I just think people would like to hear from the new guy, you know? I don't know what I'd say. I'm just kind of doing my best, you know? <laughs> yeah, I think that's true for everybody, but your best includes dodging bullets and running up skyscrapers. Hmm. Maybe when I'm on summer break and have more time? I mean, uh, when I take vacation from work. From my job. Yeah. Anyway, if I was gonna go on any podcast, it'd be yours. That is the best compliment I've gotten all week. <laughs> Maybe ever. <laughs> okay, well, um, Let's just nice. let me know when your summer break rolls around. Bye. Subway tunnels. Guess a good thief needs a good hideout. Whoa! I'm kind of jealous of his lair. The lab. The basement thing. My mom bought him this at a flea market. It was a joke about. Uh, can't remember. Always making upgrades. I definitely got my suit patching skills from Uncle Aaron. Maybe I should take a few swings. Nah, I'd probably break it. Use the sounds. Frequency lock? Something new every day. Hey, kid. Hope the suit fits. You asked why me and your dad stopped talking. He was investigating the problem. It led him to my clients. People like Simon Krieger, Wilson Fisk. Dad couldn't afford to make enemies like that. Not with you and Rio in the picture. So I told him. Hoped he'd back off, and he did. For good. He didn't want me around. Didn't want you to turn out like me. Hope this suit helps you be better. Take care, Spider-Man. Thank you, Uncle Aaron. For everything. He was always way better at guitar than me. Sequencer? Sampler? Vintage? Oh, has to be him and dad's equipment. 
Uncle Aaron's got tabs all over the city. He must have been building his network for years. He used to come to our place for dinner all the time. Guess he never learned to cook. Come <laughs> on. 